Hello my friends, I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, as I'm filming this, it is Saturday the 30th of September. Mm, the last day of September. <laughs> okay, so in front of us, what are we doing? <laughs> Being judgingly looked at, yes. My bun bun is saying, what, what are you saying to me? Can, can I please do this unboxing, sir? Hmm? And now you're thinking, You said you are not going to do this. I know Ban Ban, but I just couldn't pull out, okay? Then don't complain about too many webs again, okay? <laughs> okay, so enough tantrum throwing from my um, <clears throat> multiple personality disorder bun bun. Okay, we're not going into that where I have him, okay? So, um, what he's referring to is um, go and check out my um, previous or my last video where I did a open chat and I spoke to you about events. So, um, I asked you in the second half of the video, there's an event that I entered and should I still do it, should I cancel it, withdraw, whatever. And I'm like, oh goodness, um, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do I need to explain it? You guys, it's the same rule as um, I'm not gonna buy anything anymore. Yes, that no buy rule has never really worked with me. So, um, okay, enough looking at this um, piece. Let's just take a look at it, okay? So, and while we're going through this video, perhaps I can tell you more about my decision. So, this is a Pam Diamond Paintings LLC. So, she's in America. And um, I really have come to love Pam's Diamond Paintings. Um, her art style, let me get this out of this dust leaf. I like that it's in a dust leaf. Her art style, most of her images are dog art. And you guys know that I love my dog art. Okay. So this is nothing different. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Let's see. Ew. Ah, I love that washi tape. Okay, this is just a basic um, toolkit. Comes with a white boat, your waxes, the caddy. I like that. Um, a normal like stainless steel um, tweezers, but it's nice. It's, it's that bent one. The normal squishes and all of that. I'm not going to go into it. The only thing that I'm um, checking out here that's always um, variable is this, the washi tape. And you know I like to diamond paint using the washi tape method. So I'm always running out of washi tape. How beautiful is that? It's stars and moons. Oh, that's beautiful. That would make a gorgeous border. You know, um, we're sticky around the diamond painting. But you just um, put it around and that dust bunnies don't stick on there. Okay, so if we give it a nice little shake, 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 then we um, get to the drills that's usually in the middle. Okay, so um, this is poured glue and I'm just going to roll this baby backwards so that we can have a nice look at her while she is flat. She's been um, rolled up for quite a long time because I've ordered her and she came with my last parcel forwarding um, group shipment, group consolidated shipment because I'm in South Africa. Um, my subbies, if you have been with me for a while, you know that. Otherwise, my new subbies, hey y'all, love you. Ah, thanks for joining. Okay, so she's all rolled backwards. Oh, God. What are we gonna do first? Do you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see? Or do you wanna see? Okay, that's basically it fits into the frame. Okay, so for me, and you know I like my big canvases. This is not big. This is the snack size for me. Okay, so I thought, you know what, the one that I wanted to do for this event is not that big. Um, and I like the idea of going, listen, I'm not gonna go into the details again. My previous open chat, I told you about this event that's happening from 1 October, it's 30 September now. It runs from Facebook, it's from the Dark Art Diamond um, Painting Fanatics group. And um, if you 
like dog art then you're probably already in that group otherwise you can go and search and ask if you can join but yeah so it's facebook run by um the hosts and then um it can be any dog Hallow halloween theme from any diamond painting company any licensed canvas but yeah so the one that i have is one that i really want to hang up in my office and the plan was to do it this year but my plans with my webs keeps changing because i didn't know that my current web that i'm working on again go and check out that web and chat is a mother she's she's huge so this is a little nice snacky size that i can do and i do think that i should be able to finish this within the month or if not um maybe a week or two into the next month so let's take a look at this i'm gonna turn it around and you can see her mother glory from um within the frame okay are you ready one two three ah. okay let me see if she's in there if i switch off the lights from above yeah that's better okay so we're gonna go in closer now but i wanted to um, let you take a look from far away as they say diamond painting should be appreciated from <laughs> because what's diamond art it's pixelated art okay you place crystals so okay I'm loving what I'm seeing. Um, if you don't know this of me by now, I am Alice and Red Riding Hood obsessed. Like that's putting it subtle. Like a lot of my um, diamond paintings have themes around them. So that says we all go mad sometimes. And then there the cup says drink me. Um, so it's a graffiti style, which I like. There if you look, that's like the white rabbits. Um, watch that he carries around um yeah it's like sort of little easter eggs in there but also like it's this i don't know it looks graffiti it looks funky it looks dark but it's not <laughs> i mean color wise so yeah i'm i'm really liking what i'm seeing and i do think that i should be able to do this within this month so why i chose this one as well You'll see now. So this is round rolls and round goes much faster for me. And this is a lot of color blocking guys. Do you see all the color blocking? So what's color blocking for the um, people that don't know the term? So that means in one area, you can have a lot of the same symbol. So you're going to take out that nice long multiplacer of yours and you can put down like 10 diamonds or you know whatever the amount you are comfortable with you can go and just and yeah you can really go through a section with all of the same symbol very quickly confetti on the other hand is what we're seeing but yeah like with the graffiti style so that is where you have a lot of different symbols in a section and you have to change your colored diamonds out quite often more often so in a small section okay so how do we do diamond paintings we do it like we eat an elephant <laughs> metaphorically okay guys little by little so we section it off and like i said you have your washi tape sections that you can do or you can do release paper or you just have your peeps like me my very first diamond painting that i did i didn't know any of this so i just peeled away the plastic film and had like a paperweight on it and that's how i did it like it just went boop 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 so there's no right or wrong to this as you go you learn about it so i'm gonna um zoom you back down closer so that i can also sit down <laughs> but also i want to take a look at this close up so let's look at the canvas first before we take a look at what i like to do is i'm just gonna do this with my tripod and then you're gonna come with me so that we can take a look so um let me go to the top first so there is a little logo and you can see it says bam so bam is also the name of the owner and then that's the code and there you'll see the size 60 by 80 okay then we have a legend with a thumbnail on the right top and we have the same a thumbnail with a legend on the left bottom now i can see there's 50 colors and with pam pam's um diamond paintings anything with the letter r afterwards is ab's now what's an ab it's a specific um diamond or a drill listen if i say diamonds or i say drills it's one and the same thing so people 
can call it what they want they can call it crystals but it's the the, the beautiful sparkly um crystals that you put on top of your canvas so an ab is an aurora borealis diamond it has a coating which um likes to depict the northern lights so depending on the lighting and the angle that you look at it or the surrounding colors um it'll take on more of that sparkle you it'll accentuate the color more so I really love ABs. Um, they sparkle just a bit more than your normal diamonds. So let's take a look how many there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> this is the most ABs I've ever ever had in a canvas. And the one I'm doing now is <laughs> was the most one with eight, and this is ten. Guys, I am in my nether sparkling heaven. So, let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, let's look at the clarity. You have your guide circles. So, this is a round canvas. So, guide circles means it shows you exactly, you place that the crystal in the middle of that circle. Um, then, the foam is, you get sometimes where it's just one foam. And then you get um, canvases which they put, they overlap the forms where, you know, like with foil or anything you work with, um, if it's too big, then it just laps over. But again, normally people like to use release papers or washi tapes. So there's not really, I'm working with one now that has a lot thinner form and I'm also overlapping, but from I'm going this way and it's fine. I haven't had any issues with it. So the foam isn't super thick, but it's also not that it's going to tear at the slightest touch. So I think this is quite a nice thickness. I don't like, like those ones that's too thick. So these ones are nice, they're quite flexible. Um, let's take a look. So your light colors have black or contrasting symbols. That's quite clear. And then your dark symbols. That's also clear. It's not like they have white symbols. But I can see that's O. That's an N, G, M, H. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. You must be careful here. I call this a sideways crystal ball. <laughs> Do you guys like give names to symbols because i do so i think i actually call this like a sideways crystal ball but um the one and the zero are so close to each other um and then th that's a zero so that's a dark blue you can see and that looks black so these are two quite going to be a bit tricky that's an s I'm just looking sometimes i get confused with an s and a five or you know if it's if it's printed strangely but look at that there's like a six you can easily see that's a six hmm okay so i'm just looking so this goal is quite there's going to be a lot of oh i must also be careful so this looks exactly the same color but then you have like the one that's like not the same as the others okay let's see where i think it's a lot of confetti okay here's a bit but still there is bits of um color blocking and then you have like confetti but you can still there's like three in a row i don't think this is too heavy confetti actually I think this might be the perfect balance. And the wording, that's cool. We all go mad sometimes. That's quite clear. I like that. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, looking at the canvas, it has a soft back. So, Pam's canvas, this is the soft. You can see there. It's almost like linty. It's very soft. It's, it's flexible. It's nice um beautiful thumbnail so printing is very good here with a legend 
So it has your symbol and your DMC code. So DMC is your universal. That actually comes from um, cross-stitching the um, floss charts uh, universal color coding. So they use it for diamond painting as well. So I know by now like a 310 is black. Let me just quickly see. <laughs> yeah. I don't see a 310. Oh guys, if you know me, my favorite colors is 310 and triple six. Mm. But I did see a triple six AB. Okay, that makes my heart happy. Hmm. Then what is this? Because I thought this is black. And oh, 939. Where? It's my friend Midnight Blue. It's it's so dark blue, it looks black, but in light you'll see it's it's actually not black. So this is gonna be my first painting with no black. Let's just take a moment. Okay, I I um I think I'm still not over it. Okay, but moment's over. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I love this. It looks like a little heart there. Like I said, that looks like the stopwatch to me. These looks like flowers, but it's like, yeah. And there you can clearly see, drink me. And I think it's going to be clearer when you actually put drills down. This is doable, guys. Okay, let's take a look. We all got Mad Timelines by Gus Fink. I like that they give the artist credit. So that's a licensed art. It, the canvas itself has scalloped edges and poked holes, which means that it helps it against fraying. So, my suggestion is don't go and cut this if you're done. Either like go and block it or frame it or um, like me, I like to paint the borders and put them in temporary frames. Um, because if you cut, then this doesn't really help at all because this stops fraying from happening. Cherish the beauty in every sparkle. I love this thing. Okay. So that is the canvas. So that is a big reason why I decided to do this for the event. Because this will, I think this will be fun. It's not the one that I'm working on now, which is huge. So I'm working on the, just opening it up. It, uh, all of these ones always has these um, resealable um, baggies, but um, which is nice, but it's always a struggle, let's use a nice word, to get them back in there as they were put in there. You know, it's like when you buy a hairdryer or something with a cord, and now you took it out of the box and you have to put it back in. I never get it back in. I, I just don't know how these people pack these things, but in any case, <laughs> that's me. There's no loose drills that I can see on the sleeve, so I'm happy with that. That means our baggies are sealed nicely. So inside we have um, the sticker sheet. So this is actually a complete sticker sheet. An A4 sticker sheet. It's nice. Okay, so if you use a logbook or anything, you can cut this out. I do use a logbook, so yay. And then um, we have some information here, which is interesting, but I'm not going to use them as a sticker. So it just shows you the, um, the number of colors, which we saw is 50. And it shows the symbol, so I use that one. And then the color is the DMC code. So um, I like to use that one as well on my storage. And this just says the quantity of drills, diamonds, crystals in the bags. So, for instance, I see there's a lot, obviously, we can see there's a lot of white background, which is 5200. And if we take a look at what's 5200, it must be that music note. Yeah. Do you see there? The quantity is 31,750 and it weighs 167.59 grams. Okay. So yeah, okay, so this is the sticker sheet. It's everything you need. Um, it's not pre-cut, but guys, just let your fingers do the exercise and cut. Um, I like that it's a sticker sheet. So yeah, I can cut it and peel off what I need. So let's take a look at the colors quickly. Um, and then we can see where the ABs go. Okay, so as we said, here are the biggest bags, the 5200. So there's two of these boys. These big boys. Um, I'm gonna put them there. There's a few stragglers in here. <laughs> but no biggie. 
I'm just also looking at if I can see any obvious trash or knobs or anything on these, but I don't see them. So these are acrylic drills, diamonds, crystals. And they are quite sparkly. Very, very sparkly. Okay. Um, 939, which I thought was black. That's the second biggest bag. I just pulled it. It's not actually so many. So there's your 939. Oh, what's also nice is I see. Hmm. Okay. Those ones, for some reason, I see Pam hand wrote it. She probably gets like a big bulk of these diamonds. And then this is um, with the coat of the painting. So if you um, put it separately from the canvas, store it, then you'll know with which canvas it goes. Look at this. This is almost like black, don't you think? But you can see that it's blue. So, okay. Very pretty. But yeah, okay. So that's our biggest colors. Then let's take a look. Mm, I'm just going to randomly... We have some neutrals, we have some, ooh, green, another green, green, very nice vibrant blue, green, there's some more neutrals, 938. <laughs> it's always interesting, this is 938, that's 939, and this is a brown and that is a dark blue. There's a grey. Um, there's another brown. Um, let's get the boring colours out of the way, shall we? It's like a caramel. Mm -hmm. There's also a brown. There is hmm, a beigey colour. Hmm. This is like a very light peachy color. Comes off a bit lighter, yellower in Anya, but it's actually quite, it's quite rose gold. Um, two, 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 two. There's another one. So we have this yellowish. Oh, it's interesting. Mm, and we have this. I like it. This is like a dusty pink. I love that. Um, we have darker caramel if you see a color that you like and you want to pause the video with to look at the number then you're welcome to do that but i'm not going to read out the numbers as i know some people find this the most boring part of a video but you do want to see like the colors and like i say look for obvious trash and stuff um okay i think it's still like a yellowish this is a mustard color yeah um then, ooh, um, guys, this is my third favorite color, 930. Okay, there's a bit of trash. 930, 930. Ah, oh, it's like a dark turquoise. That's why I say it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then there's a very nice blue. Do you see it's very tiny bits? You only have that, that um, those three big ones. 775, there's some stragglers. This is very light blue. <laughs> very light blue. Um, and then we have another, another vibrant blue, and let's see, this is a, this is a lipstick color that I think would be pretty, um, it's like a dark rose color, then we have the darker one, oops, then we have the darker one, and a burgundy, mm -mm -mm. Oh, and this one, this one is pretty. Don't tell me that's not pretty. It's nice. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we left with? Um, a light pink. Um, this is a pretty pink. Oh, that's pretty. Um, this is also pretty pink. Uh, light blue. Another blue, and then let's see, let's see before we get to the ABs. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, this is this just not fabulous? Mm. We need some color in our lives, don't you think? 
Oh, look at that. Mm. Some oranges. Now this. This, oh my gosh, is a cutex color of a nail polish I would love in summer. That is beautiful. And this. This looks more neon pink in real life, I must say, than through the lens. Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> moving these aside. <laughs> um, now we come to the good stuff. So. A yellow AB. Do you see the difference? The AB has that coating on the front. Only on the front. Do you see? Very sparkly. Very pretty. So that's a yellow. There's my triple six. Mm -mm -mm. Look how you can easily see it. Yeah. Okay, there's a straggler. Look at that coating. Mm, so pretty. And then there's another AB. You remember all those light pinks? Look at this AB light pink. Mm. Pretty. And then there's a purple one. And we have, ooh, look at this green one. Mmm, look at that shine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, and then we have this blue one. Oh, I have a lot of this one that I'm currently working on in my current work. This is, this is beautiful. And also this. <clears throat> and then we have a darker yellow. And we have, ooh, this is a very pretty beige AB. I don't think I've ever seen this one. And then we have an orange AB, my first orange AB. Woohoo, I'm so excited. Okay, oops. Oh, how could I miss this? Oh, this is a normal one. Very pretty color. Okay, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. Let's see if we can quickly see where they are. So let's take a look. Um, we need to work on the TMC codes. Okay, let's just take a look. Music note is to ten. This purple. That shouldn't be too difficult. Music note. Music note. There. Oh, that's 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 tiny there. There's like one. Let's see, purple, 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 purple. I see a lot of tick marks. Do you see the tick marks in the eyes? The lots of tick tick marks. I see them quite clearly. What's the tick mark? Five fifty. Five fifty. It's this one. Huh. Okay. Okay. So this one is scattered. All of the purple tick marks. That's all over here. You can see all those tick marks. They scattered all over. Let's see for the music note. Remember, it's the double music note. So, I did find it there. Yeah. It's not that purple on the canvas. I thought it's going to be easily spot. There. Okay, it's very little. It's scattered. There's not a big bunch of them that I can show you. There's quite a few. But again, it's it's going to be accentuating. Okay, so let's put those two aside for now. Then we're looking at 712. This page. It is like um like a sigma oh yeah right here here's strands there's a sigma there's a sigma there okay so it looks like they it's it's in between the hair look there they it's like again one 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 okay so this looks like it might be the the blondish hair highlights coming out um i'm gonna leave the the best for last okay let's take a look 820 is number is oh it's that um crystal ball i showed you it's all of these dark yeah so they 
there's a few of them so it's where they're close to the black let me just see from afar so it's blue so i'm guessing it's gonna be in a bow yeah there it's gonna be on the sides it's gonna be the shiny bits on the sides you see there there okay yeah it's on the bow mm. yeah and there as well oh. almost looks like a butterfly sorry my blonde there um it is a bit scattered in there as well okay then we take a look at this light pink the 963 963 is the symbol zero like a don't go yeah what's light pink oh my fudge there's one there 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 it's little bits it's little bits okay it's not a lot um let's take a look at our two yellows i think that sh should hopefully be obvious 973 and 445 445 is the egg and 973 is like a horseshoe okay yeah it's obvious horseshoe egg so okay yellow uh, egg horseshoe horseshoe egg Okay, so everywhere where we see yellow, it seems like it's going to be ABs. You see a uh, egg, horseshoe. Uh, same there. Okay, that's those two. Then we have our orange, 740. Orange, I see a bit of orange here. There. Okay, it's a little bit in the back. There. Oh, it's scattered all around. Oh, shabbat. Okay. There's normal trees. And there's those like a reverse C with a stripe, stripe through. Looks like a three. Oh, I'll have to keep my head. <laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> okay, that's the orange. So it's a, just a tiny bag. You can see it's just, yeah. Then green. 701. It is, oof, it looks like a, a ducky beak, green, 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 there, you can easily spot that, there, there, there's not a lot of greens here, there, you see, oh, it's not a lot of greens, there, I mean, everywhere you see a bit of green. Okay, so there's not a lot of them, but there they are. Now, my favorite. Boom, 666. And it is that U-turn sign. Okay. Oh, yes, baby. It's all of this. It's all of this in the red. Whoa, this is all AB. Whoa, whoa, this is going to sparkle. Whoa, these splatters, these splatters. So... Then let's see. In the this looks like a lollipop. That looks like a heart. Yep. And then on this, there's a few scattered in between. Do you see them? And then that whole thing, the heart. Oh, all the bits of red has that in it. Yes. Okay. That was that was quite easy. Okay. So. That is all of our ABs. Okay, that's a nice view, right? Okay, then I wanted to show you, except for our toolkit that we got in this, and obviously this I love, I'm gonna put it around the borders. So um, it has sticky parts here, so you can put it around the borders. So then Pam always gives you like a thank you envelope with your purchase. So with this, I bought three. This is one of three diamond paintings um, that I got. So, okay. Um, there's quite a few, like, goodies in here. Um, so she writes a handwritten note in there to say thank you. As you can see, I'm not going to... It just says, make it a great day. Thank you for your order and your continued support. I hope you know that I really do appreciate you. Bam. So that's pretty cool. 
Then um, she includes some goodies in this. <laughs> There's her um, business card. Let's just see. Yeah, with all of her details and all of that, social media. So you can pause there if you want to take a look at that. Yeah. And then, look at this. It's a cover manda. It's a panda um, ice lolly, icicle. <gasps> it's not so good. It's clay. It's so pretty. So I got that. And then I got some stickers. Oh, this is a brain. <gasps> Bam. You know I love stuff like this. Today will be a good day. Oh, smiley face. Life is better when you're laughing. <laughs> Thank you for supporting my small business. Oh, that's so pretty. And then, got this beauty. What is that? That is a cup of minder. Take a look at that. Guys, this is going to be my prettiest cup of minder so far. She's blonde, like me. Sugar skull. Mm, mm. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I am going to use this cup of minder with this. Yes. Oh, I love that. Okay, because remember, I said three diamond paintings. Okay, so. um, That is what I'm going to use. So then, the event says that um, you must use release papers. Um, so, 31 release papers, one for every day of um, that they're going to do. Go and listen to my previous weapon chat because I give all the details there and I don't want to say in duplicate. But as I mentioned there, that you have to have 31 cut up release papers in a certain size and then you have to put it on your diamond painting. Um, so you, yeah, so it's not giving me the choice like of, of doing the washi type method, but like a release papers. And then they must be numbered 1 to 31 and in random order, you're going to place them all across your um, diamond painting. Obviously, your canvas is in, in most cases going to be bigger than the required minimum size of the 31, um, uh, what do you call it, release papers. But um, then if you finish one block, so it's going to be basically bingo every day and they call out a number and when you finish um your your that block for that specific day then you can move on to where um the 31 um, numbered release papers are not covering the canvas so you can still work on the canvas if you want to um but your yeah, the the minimum requirement is that so i just wanted to show you quickly um that i actually um took diamond art club release papers and what i did is that i measured them and cut them up into the required sizes of each day that's not a big um section to do can you see so i took um blank um stickers so that's what i used here and i just wrote and pen the numbers so um yeah i just put <laughs> i tried to be creative with this is the only release paper i have so I try to be creative and just put like a little sticker on each of them. And what also makes this nice is I can afterwards pull off the sticker and use it on my lockbooks again because um, of this um, very like, um, it's it's very smooth, this release paper. So you can easily take off stickers. Um, so it's it's not that I am going to lose the sticker. So any guys, um, just to quickly show you <laughs> that I use some of this. So I want to write the name Alice um on top so this spells alice and then i have some different stickers on here like some sort of scary halloween silly or whatever so and i just numbered them just to make it interesting because every day for instance they're going to say do 17 now so you search like an advent calendar for 17 and then I, I take off this uh, release paper and I do that board. Obviously, there must be mushrooms with Alice. Come on. I like plague doctors. <laughs> How pretty are these stickers? It's just from my um, scrapbooking 
crafts because I like to do scrapbooking for my diamond painting logbooks. So cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is a. Uh, one that was just left over yeah and that's it so um i am gonna get up this um uh, canvas of mine um, with these release papers and then i have to post a picture of this on the facebook group and with the startup post and then i'm gonna start with this so for um my channel if you would like you're welcome to follow me along and i will do some weapon chats with this because i need to finish seven blocks um within a seven day calendar week so um if you can't do one on a specific day you just need to make sure that you write down the numbers and those are the numbers you're doing for that week and then at the end of the week there's a progress photo you need to post again and show that you actually did those seven blocks so yeah i don't think it's too undoable otherwise i probably would have not done it but seeing this canvas it's a quite fun one i'm actually in, uh, very much in love with it um and yeah so like i said go and check out um the descriptions in my um video i will link everything um in this video um to pam's um, website as well and go check out her art i she has become one of my favorite diamond painting companies at the moment um so yeah um if you like to support small shops um this is excellent quality guys um yeah and i'm not saying this because i'm affiliated or sponsored in any way um i'm not i bought everything with my own money that you're seeing yeah and um yeah this is just my opinion so um i'm gonna do the kitting up and then i will probably take a picture of it and post it as the thumbnail of this video um or i will just add it at the end of the video to show you how it looks and then um you are welcome to join me along for the journey um because my next video will probably be a weapon chat or something um working on this canvas so guys um i hope you enjoyed this and what do you think leave me your comments do you think this is like super in your face dark or is this just a borderline <laughs> just let me know okay um yeah I can't wait to work on this and um, yeah, let me know your comments and before you leave this video, please leave me a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy this content. But yeah, let me know your thoughts guys and if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing because I'd love you to join. And um, yeah, Ban Ban, any final words? Are you happy with this? Mm. It's probably okay. Mm yeah it's probably okay okay you're forgiven bye <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna love you and leave you now let me keep this up and um yeah until next time love you a lot guys Mwah. bye